Hey guys, uh, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can use vector masks to actually change the color of a shirt. Um, so in this image we have a dude, white shirt, and I turn on the effect and all of a sudden his shirt turns into kind of a purplish, bluish color. Um, but we can do any real color that we want. Um, I'm just going to go through the steps with you and then you can use this technique on your photos to change the color of your shirts. So I'm just going to go to the history and change back to the original image. And the first thing I'm going to do is I just changed it from a background to a layer. Um, I like working with layers better than having a background. And then I'm going to also duplicate the layer. So on layer zero copy, I'm going to come over to the tools panel and click on pen tool. So what the pen tool is actually going to do is it's going to create a path while I click. So I'm going to start down here in the corner and you'll notice that I now have um, a point there and then I can move up and click it again which will result in another point and I can move all the way up the white shirt. So I'm going to go through this at a faster pace than I normally would go, uh, but the more points you have, kind of the more control you have on where your coloring is going to be. Um, I'm just going to speed up a bit because there's no point in me spending too much time creating all these points when this is just a demo and not actually a production image I'm creating. So come down to the bottom and then I just want to close it up. And you can tell that you're going to close it up when you can see that if I go back one, you can see that if I click anywhere else, it just is a regular icon. But if I go back to my original one, you see that there is a circle that appears uh, indicating that I'm actually closing the loop. So now that I have the white shirt all selected with my path, I can just come up here and click mask which results in this path being vector masked out of the original image. So original image, just the white shirt. So now I'm going to click the layer zero copy, go up to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, and now I can play around with it and change the color of the shirt. So I want more of a, let's try to go for like a blue shirt. We're getting more into purple, let's get. If you get the saturation right, get the coloring right, the hue right. you can completely change the color of this shirt. Okay, and then as you can see there are some white sections to look exposed. So we can always zoom in, select the direct selection tool, make sure we're on the path and as we move these we can see that it changes the color where the vector mask is. Now something like this, if you're getting really intricate, can take you, you know, just take you a half an hour just to come around and get all the points correct and maybe you want to adjust them. Bring this one over here. Unfortunately, I don't want to take up too much time in this video, so I'm going to stop where I am, but if you've been following along with me, you will see how this is completely possible. Let's just move this right here, get this. These are easy wins. Make it look better. A little adjustment here. 
Now this won't be a hundred percent match because really what you're doing is you're just adjusting the coloring in a very specific area. Um, I do recommend that you do play around with it a bit. Um, you can not only do you have to just change the hue and saturation. Uh, but you can also play around with the color balance. Um, even the brightness and contrast a bit would help you to uh, fully change the color. It is really depending on what color you're going for and what color you're starting with that are, are going to be your biggest effects um, on how it's going to turn out. So I hope this was you know, a decent little crash course tutorial on how you can just use a vector mask to change the color of a shirt. Um, if you did like this video, feel free to subscribe, comment, like it, um, as well as check out my other videos. Uh, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see how we can apply this technique to change the color of an eye in a photo, feel free to click the link that's going to be placed right in this colored box right here. Um, and thanks for watching.